Hi and welcome to CTS. In this tutorial I'm going to talk about doing cutouts to cut holes in your terrain. So cutouts are a per terrain operation. So to set up cutouts on a specific terrain, select your terrain and turn on use cutout. Now the cutout shader is a more expensive shader so you really only want to use this on the terrains that actually have the cutout. If you've got a multi-terrain setup only set it in the ones that have caves. So we've turned on cutout and we've got two options here. Cutout below, so let's set this to say 60 meters. And what you can see is we're cutting out all the terrain below that particular spot. So I'll just set that to zero. And then we've also got a mask based cutout. So here's a texture that I set up earlier. Now in the RGB channel of this texture I've just got this island and I put that in there purely as a way of choosing where to draw the cutout but in the alpha channel I've got the actual cutout itself so let's look at how I set that up in Photoshop so here is our, our texture so initially when you set up a texture in Photoshop you'll only get an RGB channel so what I did was I went new channel and added my new alpha channel so there it is there and then if I turn off my RGB channel you can actually see just the alpha channel and what I've done is I've drawn in black where I want that cave to be that cave opening to, to be done so if I turn these on and I just zoom in a bit here and I change my brush size to say two pixels and I've got a nice small brush and I want to paint it in in black where I want the hole and white where I don't want a hole and I'm using my render to choose where to do that so I just paint that in and hit file save and then if we go back to unity on my terrain I just drag this mask and voila we've got a hole so if we go and have a look here you can see that CTS is not rendering terrain at that location. Now some interesting things to bear in mind with this. We are not painting the terrain, but we are not disabling the terrain collider. So you still need to do that yourself. The reason we don't do that is because of the potential complexity of how your game is set up and how physics is set up. People do things in all sorts of different ways. And we decided we'll, we'll take care of the terrain rendering part and you can manage the terrain collision part. So let's say we wanted to change the shape of this cave here. Let's go back to Photoshop and we'll select our black. And let's just paint in maybe a little bit up here and a little bit up here. Maybe a little bit in the middle. Save it, go back to Unity, we'll wait for Unity to ingest it and voila we've changed our cave so that's a very quick and easy way let's say we didn't want them again again same thing this time we'll select white and we'll draw that out save it and we're done so you would then add rocks and other things around the edge and handle the collisions with the terrain and you're all good thanks for watching